Picture this, it's a dimly lit room, the air thick with anticipation. The screen flickers to life, casting eerie shadows that dance along the walls. You find yourself drawn into a world where suspense reigns supreme, where each scene unfolds like a carefully woven nightmare. Welcome to your first encounter with the 1963 cinematic masterpiece, Black Sabbath. As the credits roll, you're plunged into a trio of chilling tales, each one more captivating than the last. The eerie atmosphere envelops you, your senses heightened by the haunting melodies that punctuate the silence. Maybe it's the iconic Boris Karloff introducing each segment, his voice sending shivers down your spine. Or perhaps it's the way the cinematography captures every nuance, every flicker of fear on the characters' faces. And then, there are those unforgettable moments that etch themselves into your memory. It could be the gripping intensity of the drop of water, where a simple theft unravels into a nightmarish descent. Or the heart-pounding tension of the telephone, as a woman's past comes back to haunt her in the dead of night. And who could forget the macabre twist of fate in the Wordalac, where love battles the supernatural in a battle of life and death. Now, let's peel back the curtain and uncover some lesser-known tidbits about this cinematic gem. Did you know that Black Sabbath was initially intended to be an anthology? The original plan was to adapt several stories by famous Russian writer Anton Chekhov. However, creative decisions led the filmmakers down a different path, resulting in the anthology we know today. As we delve deeper, y'all discover intriguing facts that shed new light on the film's creation, its impact, and the legacy it left behind. So, join me as we journey through the labyrinthine corridors of cinematic history, exploring the hidden gems that make Black Sabbath a timeless masterpiece. Unveiling the chilling intricacies of Black Sabbath, a gyalo trailblazer in the annals of cinematic history. 1,963 seconds Black Sabbath stands as an enigmatic masterpiece, a trio of tales woven together by the legendary maestro Mario Bava. Amid its eerie tableau, one segment emerges as a harbinger of a subgenre that would reverberate through horror's tapestry, the telephone. With an uncanny prescience, this chilling vignette heralds the dawn of Gyalo, a subgenre fusing thriller and horror, later immortalized by Dario Argento's The Bird with the Crystal Plumage. Yet, another spectral revelation lies within the Wordalac segment. Amid its shadows, the inimitable Boris Karloff, his visage etched in stoic foreboding, weaves a mesmerizing performance. But it's not just his craft that captivates, it's his unflinching gaze. Karloff, a titan of terror, nearly suspends his blinks, invoking a profound unease that lingers in the psyche of the viewer. Beneath the surface, the film's very title weaves a web of homage and strategy. Black Sabbath, a nod to Bava's previous triumph Black Sunday, bears the mark of calculated choice. With the success of the former echoing, distributors opt for a cognate title, a subtle nudge to familiarity that encapsulates the intrigue and terror that await audiences. As the reels of Black Sabbath unspool, its layers unfurl, birth of Gyalo, Karloff's unyielding gaze, and the nuanced title choice. A nexus of artistry, innovation, and homage that cements its legacy as a cornerstone of horror cinema. Boris Karloff's haunting collaboration with Mario Bava in 1963 seconds Black Sabbath in the eerie realm of horror cinema, one name stands as an icon, Boris Karloff. Known for his spine-chilling performances, Karloff's association with the 1963 film Black Sabbath marked a significant chapter in both his career and the genre's history. Under the aegis of American International Pictures, Karloff's involvement was no accident but a result of contractual obligation and the prospect of a chilling collaboration. The Italian title of the film, I Tre Volti della Pora, translates to the three faces of fear, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the anthology format of the movie. Directed by the maestro of macabre, Mario Bava, Black Sabbath encapsulates three distinct tales, each dripping with dread. However, it wasn't just the narratives that added to the film's allure, it was the very presence of Boris Karloff that lent a unique gravitas. Karloff's connection to the project arose from his contractual obligations with AIP, the production company behind the film. Intrigued by the prospect of collaborating with Mario Bava again, AIP harnessed Karloff's magnetism to amplify the movie's sinister appeal. And amplify it did, as Black Sabbath became a cult classic, celebrated for its anthology structure and the iconic Karloff's portrayal. Interestingly, a layer of mystery shrouds Black Sabbath, owing to additional scenes that were shot but eventually excised from the final cut. These scenes featured Karloff himself, introducing each segment and weaving an enigmatic thread throughout the movie. Karloff later confessed that these introductions were some of his most enjoyable moments on a film set, but alas, AIP decided to trim them for pacing reasons. Nonetheless, the essence of Karloff's presence endured, imprinting Black Sabbath with an indelible mark of horror history. In the end, Black Sabbath stands not only as a testament to Boris Karloff's mastery of the macabre but also as a demonstration of the allure of collaboration between a horror legend and a visionary director. The film's legacy endures, a chilling reminder that fear wears many faces.
Horror classic Black Sabbath inspires heavy metal legacy in the realm of horror cinema. Boris Karloff's legendary portrayal of monsters is etched into the collective psyche. Yet, in the 1963 film Black Sabbath, Karloff takes an unexpected turn, sinking his teeth into the role of a vampire, a portrayal both eerie and captivating. This cinematic gem isn't merely a showcase for Karloff's talents, it's a treasure trove of firsts and inspirations. Among its groundbreaking facets, the segment titled The Telephone emerges as a trailblazer, a milestone in Italian cinema, it's celebrated as the first Italian thriller filmed in vivid color. This vibrant innovation added new dimensions to the suspense and terror, painting a chilling tableau that lingers in the minds of viewers. However, the movie's influence goes beyond its reels. In a twist of fate, Black Sabbath became a catalyst for the naming of a heavy metal legend. In 1968, the nascent band Earth was struggling to command attention in a small Birmingham club. Across the street, the film Black Sabbath played to throngs of eager moviegoers. Observing the allure of horror, the band reshaped their identity, birthing the iconic moniker Black Sabbath. This convergence of horror cinema and music history reverberates through the ages, a testament to the indelible impact of a single film. Boris Karloff's venture into the realm of vampires, the groundbreaking use of color, and the birth of a legendary band all find their roots in Black Sabbath. It's a tale of crossroads where cinema and music entwine, creating a legacy that continues to cast its spell. Boris Karloff's Unseen Introductions Unveiling the untold charm behind 1,963 seconds Black Sabbath in the annals of horror cinema, the 1963 anthology film Black Sabbath holds its macabre ground as a cult classic. Yet, lurking beneath its eerie tales of terror lies an intriguing secret that aficionados may not be privy to. As revealed by the venerable Boris Karloff, who lent his iconic presence to the film, there existed additional scenes that never saw the flickering light of the silver screen. Boris Karloff, renowned for his portrayal of the monster in 1,931 seconds Frankenstein, graced Black Sabbath with not only his acting prowess but also his beguiling charm. The film, directed by Mario Bava, offered three distinct segments, each weaving its own chilling narrative. But what lies obscured is the fact that Karloff, in his inimitable style, introduced these segments in footage that was ultimately relegated to the cutting room floor. These introductions, as Karloff reminisced, were some of his most enjoyable moments on set. AIP, the distributing studio, deemed them extraneous, opting to excise these moments of Karloff's captivating interaction with the audience. In a candid reflection, the venerable actor confided that the introductions were akin to a spectral waltz, a dance of macabre delight that revealed a facet of his persona seldom glimpsed. These intimate scenes, where Karloff's presence bridged the chasm between reality and horror, remain a tantalizing could have been for cinema enthusiasts. Within the film's chilling tapestry, during the Wordalak segment, Karloff's dedication to his craft attains an eerie apex. As the vampiric patriarch Gorka, Karloff's unwavering commitment led him to embody the character with an unsettling authenticity. Remarkably, during the segment's tense moments, Karloff refrained from blinking, creating an uncanny and mesmerizing aura of unyielding malevolence. Such meticulous attention to detail speaks volumes of Karloff's consummate professionalism and his pursuit of artistic authenticity. It's a footnote that underscores the dedication that made him a master of the genre. So, as you revisit the spectral corridors of Black Sabbath, remember that beyond the shadows lie untold tales, Karloff's unseen introductions that swirled like mist in the moonlight and his unblinking gaze that infused the wordalak with an otherworldly intensity. These revelations offer an even richer appreciation for a film that continues to cast its haunting spell over the decades. Black Sabbath's eerie influence, how a horror film shaped heavy metal in the dimly lit streets of 1960s Birmingham. A seemingly unassuming horror film flickered on the silver screens, its impact far more profound than the flickering images might suggest. Black Sabbath, directed by the Italian maestro Mario Bava, did more than send shivers down the spines of its audience. It planted the seeds for a seismic shift in the music world. Unbeknownst to many, the title of this 1963 horror anthology was more than a mere moniker. It bore an homage, a tribute to Mario Bava's previous cinematic triumph, Black Sunday, a film that had captivated audiences and garnered widespread acclaim. Riding the coattails of this success, distributors sought a title reminiscent of their earlier hit. And thus, Black Sabbath was christened, its name echoing a legacy of horror. However, the film's most unexpected influence reached far beyond the confines of the silver screen. Five years after the movie's release, in the heart of Birmingham, England, a burgeoning rock band found itself at a crossroads. Performing under the name Earth, the group struggled to gain traction in a competitive musical landscape. It was a chance observation that would alter their trajectory forever. Across the street from the small club where Earth played, a theater marquee glowed with the words Black Sabbath. What caught the band's attention wasn't just the movie itself, but the lines of eager patrons snaking their way into the theater. The revelation struck like lightning, horror sells tickets. Recognizing the allure of the macabre, the band made a pivotal decision that night. Earth would shed its old identity and emerge anew as Black Sabbath. 
This transformation wasn't merely cosmetic, it was a sonic and thematic shift that would revolutionize the music landscape. Black Sabbath, the band, channeled the haunting atmospheres of horror into their music, birthing a genre that would come to define an era, heavy metal. The rumbling bass lines, the thundering drums, and the piercing vocals all bore the imprint of that fateful night when a horror film's pull had proven irresistible. In the annals of cinema history, Black Sabbath stands as a testament to the unforeseen power of a title, an echo of success, and a catalyst for change. While the film itself told tales of terror, its impact reached far beyond the silver screen. It left an indelible mark on a musical genre, reshaping the very essence of sound. And so, the chilling echoes of that 1963 horror anthology still reverberate, reminding us that inspiration can emerge from the most unexpected of places. As we dim the lights on this cinematic journey, we're left with more than just scenes captured on celluloid. We're left with an indelible mark that Black Sabbath, the 1963 masterpiece, has left on our minds and hearts. It's a tapestry woven with suspense, darkness, and an eerie elegance that continues to resonate through the corridors of time. As you've ventured through the chilling tales presented within the film's three segments, the drop of water, the telephone, and the word lack perhaps you've found yourself entangled in the web of unease, the suspense crawling up your spine with each passing frame. The haunting score, the visceral performances, and the masterful direction by Mario Bava have all worked in harmony to etch Black Sabbath into the annals of horror history. But beyond the surface, this film invites you to reflect on your own connection with the macabre. What draws you to these tales of the unknown? Is it the thrill of confronting fear, the allure of the supernatural, or perhaps the very human fascination with the darker corners of existence? As the credits roll and the echoes of the film's chilling narratives linger, take a moment to contemplate your personal connection with Black Sabbath. Have you ever watched it on a stormy night, the shadows dancing along with the unfolding tales? Or has it been a constant companion during your annual Halloween tradition, adding an extra shiver to the already crisp air? We invite you to share your favorite memories, thoughts, and insights, the emotions this film has stirred within you. Your perspective adds yet another layer to the intricate tapestry that is Black Sabbath. Your voice becomes a part of the chorus of whispers that have discussed, debated, and embraced this iconic piece of cinema for decades. So, let your thoughts flow like ink on parchment, and share with us your unique encounter with Black Sabbath. We're eager to hear how it has played a role in your life's narrative. Thank you for joining us on this exploratory voyage into the realms of the mysterious and the uncanny. Reflect, share, and immerse yourself in the enigma of Black Sabbath, a film that reminds us that there's beauty even in darkness.